Hello, good morning everybody. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my math class. Today we are going to do the chapter 13, section 4, that's the area of polygons. First of all, let's start by solving the last homework. That is about the area of the triangles. And we have four types of triangles here. Remember, this is a rule for triangle area, 1 over 2 base times height for this one this is my base 10 is my height so you just apply and substitute the same thing for this one this is a right triangle this is the height and this is the base for this one is obtuse triangle my base is 12 inches and the height is 17 inches again you apply the same rule and check your answers with these I have here the final one here, this is your base, don't get confused, and this is your height. Alright? Now, what are the polygons? Polygons are different than quadrilaterals. Remember we said that quadrilaterals are shapes that have four sides. Polygons are shapes that have many sides. It could be four, it could be five, it could be more than that. So how are we going to find the area for these shapes? It's very easy. We are going to divide them into simpler shapes. Let's take this example. Wiley is going to paint a side of house shown in the diagram. This is a side of his house. He wants to paint it. And we want to know the area that he is going to paint. That is all of this area. Now, this shape, as you see here, okay, it has one, two, three, four, and five sides. It's a polygon. It's not quadrilateral. It's more than four. So how can I find the area for this shape? I'm going to divide it into two simple shapes. You see here, I put it as a rectangle plus the triangle here. And I'm applying the area rules for each shape. Now the area for the rectangle, it is length times width, which is 25 times 12, that is 300 foot squared. For the triangle, it is base times height. What is my base? It's the same as this, 25 feet times 8, which is height divided by 2. And this gives us 100 feet squared. Now, the total area, what is it? It's the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. So it is 300 plus 100, that is 400 feet squared. So the total area that Wine is going to paint in his house is 400 feet squared. All right, let's have another example. I have this shape here. It is a polygon. How many sides it has? One, two, three, four, and five sides. How can I find the area for this shape? First step, I'm going to draw a horizontal line that is here. So I'm dividing this shape into two simple shapes. One is a rectangle, and the other one is the triangle. Now, I will find the area for the rectangle first. That is my base or my length times the width or times the height. Okay, A equals to B times H, which is 16 times 7. That is 112 square centimeters. So the area of the rectangle is 112 square centimeters. Now for the triangle, remember we said it's base times height divided by 2. What is my base here? It is this one. How can I find it? It is this total base, 16, minus 8 centimeter, right? This one is the total minus this. So my base for the triangle is 16 total minus 8 gives me this, which is 8. What is the height here? This is the height of the triangle. What is it? It's this total one minus this length here. So it is 13 minus this one, which is 7. 13 minus 7 is 6. So the height here is 6 and the base here is 8. Now I apply the rule. The area of the triangle is 1 over 2. Base times height, the base is 8, the height is 6, 
So 1 over 2 times 8 times 6 is 24 square centimeters. Now I'm almost done. Remember the question is looking for the total area. So I'm going to add these two areas together. The area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. So it is 112 plus 24, that is 136 square centimeters. The unit here is centimeter and the area should be square centimeters. Let's look at an other shape here. This is also a polygon. One, two, three, four, and five sides. Now there are many ways to divide your polygon into simple shapes. Let's show a new way. Look at this shape. Instead of dividing it into simple shapes, I'm going to draw a dashed line here and a dashed line here to make it a complete rectangle. So what will be the area of this blue shape? It is the total area minus this one gives the area of this polygon. So first I would start finding the total area. What is the total area of this whole shape? It is width times height, that is 60 times 60. This is the total area, 60 times 6 is 3,600 square feet. Now, this shape we draw here is missing piece. So we need to find its area and remove it or subtract it from the total to get the area of my polygon here. So what is the area of this missing shape? It is length times width. What is the length here? It is 60, which is this one, 60 minus 20. So this one here is the total at 60 minus 20, which is 40. That's my base. What is the height here? It is this height, this total, 60 minus 30. This one is the total 60 minus 30, which is 30. So my base is 60 minus 20, that is 40. My height is 60 minus 30, that is 30 feet. The area then, it is A equal to my base times height, or my width times length, which is 40 times 30. That is 1,200 square feet. Good. The final step is to subtract the total area minus this missing area. So it is 3,600 minus 1,200. That is 2,400 square feet. Let's see if we can find the same area by dividing the shape into different shapes. The same shape I'm using here, instead of adding a missing square, I will divide it into two simple squares or two simple rectangles, rectangle one and rectangle two. So I'm dividing it into two. I will find the first area. What is the first area? It is width times height. The length of the small rectangle here is 20 feet. L is 20. And my width is this one. What is it? It is the total 60 minus 30. 60 minus 30. That gives us this length that is 30. So length times width, 20 times 60 minus 30. That is 20 times 30. And the area for the first square is 600 square feet. Now for the second shape, for the second rectangle, what is the width? It is 30, the length is 60, so the area will be length times width, that is 60 times 30, which is 1,800 square feet. Now, the total area is the area of the shape 1 plus the area of the shape 2, that is 600 plus 1,800, which is 2,400. Is it the same as the result we got here? Yes, it's 2,400. So by dividing the same shape into different parts or adding missing parts, you are always going to find the same area. Choose the way that is easier for you. All right, 
let's move to the last example that I'm going to let as a homework for you. Using the same shape that I've used before, you are going to find the area by dividing your shape into different way. That is by dividing it into trapezoids. So I did it here. I want you to find these areas of these two trapezoids and add them together and check if your answer will be the same as 2,400 square feet. Okay, don't forget to upload your answers on the classroom.google.com. I hope you are all going to have the right answer for this. If you have any questions, let me know through the virtual class. Thank you and see you tomorrow.